Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve two two mark questions from pair of linear equations in two variables chapter, which had appeared in CBSE board exam 2025. So let us start with the first question now. Solve the following pair of equations algebraically. So here we can see two equations are given and we need to find out the values of x and y algebraically, which means either we can use the substitution method or elimination method to find out the values of x and y here. I will be using the elimination method. But before we start with this method, if we see the numbers are very big and we can see there is some kind of relationship over here. So in the first equation, we have 101x and in the second equation, we have 101y. Similarly, in the first equation, we have 102y and in the second equation, we have 102x. Since we see some kind of relationship over here, let us try to add them together and subtract them together. Because if we go for the elimination method where we are going to multiply the first equation by the coefficient of x or coefficient of y, you can see the numbers become really big and you will be losing your time in the exam. So you cannot sit multiplying 102 by all these numbers. So let us figure out some other method. That is addition of these two equations and subtraction of these two equations. So here we have considered this as equation 1 and this as equation 2. So the step number 1 is add equation 1 and 2. So we have written the equations. So adding them together, we get 304 plus 305 as 609. 102 plus 101 gives us 203 y. Similarly, 101 plus 102 gives us 203 x. So the new equation becomes 203 x plus 203 y is equal to 609. Now in the next step, we have subtracted the equation 1 and 2. So here again, I have written the same equations. But here we are going to subtract the second equation from the first one. So we are going to change the signs of all the terms of the second equation. So here we get 304 minus 305 as minus 1, 102y minus 101 as 1y, and 101 minus 102 as minus 1x. Now let us focus on this first equation we have got. So here we have rewritten the equation. Now we can see that 203 is a common factor from these two terms. So we have taken it out and inside the bracket remains x plus y equal to 609. Now taking 203 on the other side of equal to sign, we get x plus y is equal to 609 over 203. Now 203 divides 609, that is 203 one times and 203 three times. Now you can see this complicated equation has given us a simpler equation that is x plus y is equal to 3. So this equation we have considered as equation 3. Now let us look at the second one. So here we get the next equation as negative x plus y is equal to negative 1. Now we are going to add the equation 3 and equation 4. So here we get x plus y equal to 3 and minus x plus y equal to minus 1. Now here plus x and minus x will add up to give us 0 and plus y and plus y gives us plus 2y is equal to 3 minus 1 is 2. Now here, taking this 2 on the other side of equal to sign, we get y is equal to 2 over 2. And 2 divides 2, that is 2 1 times and 2 1 times. So we get the value of y as 1. Now once we have the value of y, let us find out the value of x. And here I am going to make use of equation 3. So consider equation 3, that is x plus y is equal to 3. Now taking the value of y as 1, we get x plus 1 equal to 3. Now taking 1 on the other side of equal to sign, we get x equal to 3 minus 1 or the value of x is going to be 2. So here we have the value of x as 2 and the value of y as 1. Now let us move on to the OR question. In a pair of supplementary angles, the greater angle exceeds the smaller by 50 degrees. Express the given situation as a system of linear equations in two variables and hence obtain the measure of each angle. So let us try to understand this question by drawing a figure first. So here ACB represents a straight line and CD is a line that is going to divide the straight line into two angles. Now remember that supplementary angles are those angles which will add to give us 180 degrees. So here when this line is being divided into two angles, let us say that this larger angle is going to be called as X and the smaller angle is being called as Y. So here we have written, let the larger angle be equal to x and let the smaller angle be equal to y. 
And since the angles have been mentioned as supplementary angles, we get our first equation as x plus y equal to 180 degree. So they will add up together to give us 180. Now the second equation, we are going to frame it over here by the statement given. That is, the greater angle or the larger angle exceeds the smaller angle by 50 degrees. Now remember that exceeds more than, bigger than or larger than express addition. So it means that the greater angle, which is x, is going to exceed, that is, it is going to be bigger than the smaller angle, which is y, by 50 degree. So for example, if the smaller angle y is going to be 30 degrees per se, then angle x is going to be 30 degree plus 50 degree, that is 80 degree. So keeping this in mind, we have framed the second equation here, that is larger angle exceeds the smaller angle by 50 degrees, that is x is equal to y plus 50. And let us call this as equation 2. Now here we have found out the linear equations in two variables. Now we have to find out what is the measure of each angle, which means we need to find out the value of x and value of y. So here I am going to use the substitution method, where I am going to substitute the value of x, which we have got in equation 2, in equation 1. So substitute 2 in 1. So in place of x, we have written y plus 50 plus y is equal to 180. Now adding the like terms, that is y plus y gives us 2y plus 50 is equal to 180. Now taking 50 on the other side of equal to sign, we get 2y is equal to 180 minus 50. Now simplifying this, we get 2y is equal to 130. Now 2 goes on the other side and divides 130, giving us the value of y as 65 degrees. Now once we have got the value of the smaller angle, let us try to find out the value of larger angle, that is x. So for that we are going to make use of the second equation. So now consider equation 2, that is x equal to y plus 50. Now in place of y, we are going to substitute 65. So x equal to 65 plus 50 and when we add them together, we get the value of x as 115 degrees. So here the larger angle value is 115 and the smaller angle value is 65. I hope you have understood all the steps and liked the video. And if you found this video useful, then check out this playlist where you'll find more examples of this kind. And if you're liking my videos, like, share and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching.